Hello guys, Zanjay here and as you can see I have the Eureka with me and in this video I am going to install MIUI 6 on the Eureka and it is based on Lollipop so that's surely a very good thing and it is based on Lollipop because it's a port from MI4i and uh, currently I am showing it for MIUI 6 but in some time MIUI 7 will be released for the Eureka also and to install the ROM you need to have TWRP recovery installed and uh, yeah you need to download the zip file all the links for that will be in the description box below and if you do not have uh, TWRP recovery installed on your device then I'll give the guide for that also in the description box below do check that out just flash TWRP recovery and you're good to go and currently I'm recording the video on OnePlus 2 so yeah it's OnePlus 2's camera test also and now long press the power button select reboot select recovery and it okay now the phone will boot into TWRP recovery so we have successfully booted back into the TWRP recovery now first thing you should do is and you have to do is back up the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong afterwards you can simply restore this backup and you will be on the safer side always so after the data wipe is complete simply hit the back button go back and now select wipe and just wipe to factory set this will wipe your cache, Dalvik cache and data so you do not have to wipe anything once again and uh, it will take care of everything. So as the wipe is complete now just hit the back button and now we need to install the MIUI 6 zip file so just go to the folder wherever you have put it for me it's in download so select that and just swipe to confirm flash. You do not need to install any G apps because all the Google apps will be installed in the ROM so yeah. So now the zip file installation is completed. Now we just need to reboot the system so hit reboot system button and we should boot it to MIUI 6. So guys we have successfully booted into MIUI 6 ROM. After that simply uh, complete the setup and we will boot into the ROM. So yes we have successfully booted into the ROM and uh, as you can see we have play store pre-installed. So just sign into your Google account and all you can download all the applications and everything like that. And there are a few applications like gestures application and kernel auditor. The developer has mentioned few frequencies for CPU and you if you put those frequencies in kernel auditor application then you, are, you will get better battery life and many things like that. You can change the settings from here. So now let's go into settings and let's check the Android version because the MIUI 6 over here is not based on uh, KitKat, it's based on Lollipop. So as you can see it is based on 5.0.2 lollipop and even some Xiaomi phones like almost all Xiaomi phones including MI3, MI4, Redmi 1S, Redmi 2, Redmi 2 Prime all are based on KitKat whereas Eureka 6 has a port from MI4i and it is based on lollipop so that's a good thing and uh, and almost all the MIUI 6 features are present over here and I'm pretty much sure that MIUI 7 will be ported very soon for the device. So if you have MIUI 6 or MIUI 7, I'll give some of the tips and tricks that you can use on MIUI 6 and MIUI 7 in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. From it's surely a very good experience uh, considering uh, the Cyanation mod that we have pre-installed. So with MIUI 6 and Cyanation mod 12 we get best of both worlds. So you can have Android which is like completely customized which is nowhere near stock Android whereas Cyanation mod is somewhat close to stock Android but there are very good additions too so that's a good thing. And uh, there is a little bit of fitting issue and uh, I don't think so that the battery is as good as Sanogen Mod 12 or Sanogen Mod 12.1 nightly. So yeah, you may consider this but uh, if you are a MIUI fan then I don't think so that this may bother you. But I can surely say that it's worth trying so if you are a ROMholic or Flashholic person then surely go ahead and try MIUI 6 on your phone and if you are going to try it, then do let me know about that in the comment section below. And many more important things regarding the ROM will be in the XDA thread so I'll give the link of XDA thread in the description box below for all the detailed information about the ROM and things you should follow to enable few things here and there. So yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because many more videos on Eureka will come real soon and there are many more videos on Eureka already on the channel so do check that out. And uh, yeah thank you guys thank you for watching.